Hello friends, how are you guys today? I am so excited for this really quick video today, which is going to be me going to a bunch of little free libraries. On my way. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to go to little free libraries that are around my neighborhood and around my city. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm using an app. I'm just driving in like really slow on um, my street, so I don't feel like I'm being dangerous by doing this and driving. So if you don't know what a little free library is, that's pretty much like, and I think this is the best way to explain it. It's a little bird box slash mailbox that's like full of a bunch of books and you leave a book that you don't want anymore and then you take a book that somebody else has left there. I've always passed by these when I'm like walking or when I'm just driving, but I never actually stop and do anything with them because they feel like I'm just not prepared to like leave a book or take a book. Um, but today I am, I brought three books that I am willing to leave behind. We have the Final Girls Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I read like a little bit of this book. The idea of this book looked really cool, but then when I started reading it, it just like didn't, I couldn't connect to it. And I think it's because all of the characters are like in their 50s to 70s. So I, I DNF'd it. I just like tried really hard, but I couldn't get into it. So I've just had it on my bookshelf for so long. And I think that it's time to trade this in for something else. Unreasonable Virtue of Fly Fishing, which is my fiance's book. And he already read this book. And then he also got gifted this book for Christmas. So we have two of these so he was like you can take one and trade that out So I was like awesome and then this last book is Leanne Leanne Moriarty's Big Little Lies and I haven't read this book yet I've had it on my bookshelf for a while and it looks really good, but I haven't read it yet I kind of brought this as just like a maybe because I know that I'll trade out these two And if I end up finding like a third book where I'm like, oh my god I need to take this like this is something that I feel like I'm okay getting rid of. Those are the three books that I have that I'm gonna trade out. Yeah, I'm excited to go visit these little free libraries. I think they're gonna be really cute. So I'm excited to see what kind of books these people have. And I'm also excited to see how they've like built their little free libraries because I've seen photos on the app and they all look a little bit different to me. There's an app called Little Free Library and you can look it up and it will tell you where all of the little free libraries are in your town. I downloaded it last night, I opened it, I looked around Nashville and there are so many. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me and just go to like maybe three or four just like of the closest ones and see if we can find anything and if it's fun. And maybe at the end of this we'll do like a little tiny book haul. Let's go to the closest one that I have. Let's go to one. Let's just get this video started and let's see what we have. With you the sun is shining 24 seven. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Ooh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I'll be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so that one was really cool. As you could see, I took like one video on my phone. It seemed to be a little bit more like grief heavy. Like it's uh, a wind telephone is what it said. So it's like you can go into their little phone booth and like pick up the phone and just like talk for as long as you need to. Grief books and I think there was a couple like children's coloring books and I think that looks cool but there was nothing there that I really wanted to pick up. We're going to go to the next one. It's called the Thistlewood Library. Okay, this one's less than a mile away from me, four minutes. So we're gonna go drive here now on to the next. We made it to the next location <laughs> and it looks really cute. This is like more of what I was thinking when I thought of Little Free Libraries. It's kind of like a little like mailbox kind of thing for books. I wanna marry you. Cause when you're around I know it's true. Ooh, ooh, the way you make me feel is so good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day was found apart. I wanna be with you. Okay, so that one was really cute. Definitely the kind of vibe that I was thinking of when I first started thinking about the libraries. I did find Little Women and it was really, like I was so tempted to take it, but it was um, not the kind of version that I feel like I would want. And this one is only three minutes away. All of these are so close together. This is adorable. Um, So yeah, let's go to this next one. just like you do. Feels so good, so good. When I wake up in the morning and I see your face I'm becoming blind by your dazzle So that one 
was also really cute and they had really good books there was another book that I was like maybe I should get this I don't know if I would read it and I don't want to just like grab a book unless I'm like extremely passionate about reading it so yeah there was like the Ruth Bader Ginsburg book um, which I was thinking about grabbing and I ended up not and then they also had the couple next door Which I would have grabbed if I didn't already own it because I really want to read that book So they did have good books in there. Um, some of them were like a little sad still Like I feel like people just get rid of like the sad books maybe when they're like taking and leaving things <laughs> literally a minute away so Let's go to this one and see if we have any better luck and hopefully we can find at least one book to take home. Okay, we made it to the next one and it looks really cute. I parked on the side and I'm already seeing some brightly colored books in there and so I have high hopes because the covers look cute. Okay, so that one was um, also great. They were a lot of books that I was really tempted to take because it was a lot of fiction in there and I love fiction books. Um, there was The Impossible Fortress, I think is what it was called. And I looked it up and it looks really good and people on Goodreads seemed to like it and the cover was really cool and it was published in 2017. So there's a chance I might come back and grab that one but I wanna check out the other free libraries first. Just because that one looked like a little bit disheveled and some of the books were wet because because the like the glass cover like the glass door um, to protect the books of the little free library is gone I don't know if I want to leave any of my books there but I also don't want to take a book and not leave something awesome and this one is only three minutes away so we'll be there and hopefully we can find a book and I'm just happy to be doing this and I'm excited that there's so many of these all close to me I up to this one but I did film it on my phone so you'll see footage from that but that one was really cute there were still not any books that I really wanted there was this one book called like the cactus league or something and it was about baseball and it looked interesting and I almost picked it up but then again I was like I don't know I have so many books on my TBR I can't just be picking up books that like I might want to read someday in the future like I want to leave it for somebody who actually really wants it while I was driving to this other little library I passed by another one and I don't know if it's even on the little free library app but I see it and we're gonna stop and we're gonna check this one out so yeah let's go check this one out this one looks cute finally found one <laughs> yay so I just traded in my final girl support group book for James Patterson's Sundays at Tiffany's because it looks really cute it looks like an easy read like the text is pretty big <laughs> and it just looks like a really cute like romance but yay I'm excited I found something so let's go to the next one it's only like 800 feet away Okay, so that was weird because I went to one the one that I was going to that was really close to the other one and it didn't exist and I was sad because that one looked all cute and pink, but this is a different one and it's so close. So we're gonna check this one out. God. Oh my god, that was the best one that we've seen so far. I got three books from that. That was awesome. So yeah, I did take three and I only gave two because I ran out of books to give. So next time I do this little thing, I think I'm going to bring a lot more books to trade in because 
I just didn't know how this round was gonna go and if I was going to find any books and I kind of thought that I would only be like giving away really just one of those books I didn't know I'd be giving away like all of them and then still needing more to give away I'm so excited for these books that I got I'm just like the things that I found I'm just so this is gonna be great it's such a fun way to like share with the book community I love doing this today it's a wonderful way to spend my Sunday I am so happy I, I feel like that kind of guilt where you're like oh my god I bought so many books but then I'm like no I didn't spend any money I traded in books so it makes me feel a lot better but anyway let me do a book haul for you guys so that I can show you all the books that I got okay hi I'm back home and I am so excited to go over all the books that I got at the little free libraries so First, just a quick review of my experiences with the Little Free Libraries. I love them. Five out of five, 100%. There was that one library that was a little weird because it was like the glass was gone and the books kind of were all ruined because they were all wet. And I saw a book in there that I wanted, but I just like didn't feel comfortable putting my books in there and I didn't want to take a book without leaving a book, so I decided not to take anything. Yes, Bandit? He says hi. So yeah, let's go over the books that I got. Oh, you guys already know about this one because I showed it to you in the car, and that is James Patterson's Sunday at Tiffany's. This one looks so cute. I just feel like it's such uh, an easy read. Like it, it just looks like I got a little comfort read, and it looks like it takes place during winter time. Um, and it's only like 300 pages, so it looks like an easy read. It looks like a fun read, and it looks really interesting. So I'm glad that I got it, especially because I've never heard anybody talk about this book. These three books I got all from the same library, and they just had such good options, and I couldn't like not pick a ton of books to take home with me. So I got Mary Kay Andrews' The Santa Suit, and I know that it's like literally February right now, but I really wanted to read this last Christmas, and I didn't have it. And just because it was available and it's there, I'm just gonna like get it and save it until this Christmas season so I can read it when it's December. The next book that I got um, is a YA novel, I believe, and it is also a movie on Netflix. And I haven't seen it because I refuse to see the movie until I read the book, but I haven't gotten the book yet. But now I do have it, so now I can read it and watch the movie, and I'm excited. That is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This book I've just heard like really cute things about. I think I heard that it's sad, I think. So I'm gonna look more into that. And then this book, I'm so excited to have found because I have been wanting to try my hand at fantasy. And I don't even know, is this even considered fantasy? I think so. I was actually a tutor in college for this girl who was in seventh grade. And I don't even know why she had a tutor because she was insanely smart. And I would really just like sit by her while she did her homework. And every now and then if she had a question, I'd like help her on one thing, but she was so smart. And part of her tutoring is that I would just have to like monitor her like reading, like she just have to like read for like 30 minutes a day. And she was reading this book. And ever since then, I've wanted to also read this book because she was saying how much she loved it. And I thought it was like for kids because she was reading it and she was in seventh grade, but then I kept seeing it all over like book talk and book YouTube. Anyway, I'm talking too much, but it is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I think that it is technically a fantasy book and I'm not super into fantasy, but I am like, down to read this book. I'm so excited for all of the books that I got. These are all just like such great titles and I'm glad that I did wait until I found books that I would be excited to read because I think when books are like leave one take one kind of thing like I'm so tempted to just want to take so many and to like leave all of the books that I've already read but I want to make sure that like the books that I'm taking are books that I'm actually going to be excited about. So anyway thank you guys so much for coming with me along on this fun Sunday morning where we get to go to all of the little free libraries. I had so much fun hanging out with you and visiting all these new places and I can't wait to keep doing this in the future. And I'm also going to look into having my own <laughs> little free library because at this moment I am now obsessed and I think that they are absolutely adorable and I love the book community. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Mackenzie. If you don't know who I am, I post videos every Friday. So if you like book videos, then press subscribe. If you've read any of these books, then let me know how they are. I love hearing what people have to say about the books that I've gotten or like our reviewing or I just love to know your thoughts. If you have any book recommendations for me, I love to hear those as well. So put those in the comments down below because I'd love to hear them. And if you wanna see more of me on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on my TikTok, and you can follow me here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and yeah, <laughs> bye. <laughs>